Hey everybody, Mike Wolford here from the Dude's Kitchen and today we are back outside, finally. I still got my coat on because it's cold, but I just feel better out here, right? Today we are doing a classic dish. Well, sandwich, maybe we'll call it a sandwich. It's a grilled cheese sandwich, but I'm gonna add a real cool spin to this. I think you're gonna like it. So the first thing we wanna start on is our bacon. The first thing we start on is our bacon. And I've already cut the bacon in half. We're just gonna lay it out here in this aluminum pan. And it doesn't matter if, you know, they overlap each other or whatever. We just want the, cook, the bacon to be cooked to, you know, not quite crisp, but close enough. That looks good right there. Let's put it on the Weber kettle. With our temp up to about 350 degrees, we're gonna put the bacon on this side. We're only running on one side. Ooh, that's nice and warm. But it's probably gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes for our bacon to cook. So let's do it. While our bacon's cooking, I just had to say, as this channel grows, one of the thing that cracks me up the most is I get so many comments like, dude, where's your white Russian? It's like people expect me to have a white Russian. So let's make a white Russian for this cook. I already put some of my half and half in there. I'm gonna open this one, but not pour it yet. Oh, you jerk. Well, I'll force it. We start with our vodka, and just a little bit in there. A little bit of Kahlua. These are all measurements that work for me. And I can't really tell you what the measurements are because I really don't have any idea. I just pour in whatever works. And there you go. Here's our white Russian for the episode. We'll stir it up a little bit. Well, Radit, did you know that the Dude's Kitchen also has a Wednesday night barbecue talk show? That's right, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Mountain, 9 p.m. Eastern, we have guests on, we talk about current events, uh, how to grow your channel, what, uh, what this particular channel is up to. We have guests both large and small. Make sure to check it out. Let's try our white Russian. That's what I'm talking about right there, white Russian. All right, let's get back to cooking. It's time for our halftime report on the bacon. Eh, not too bad, I mean, it's coming along. Move it a little closer to the heat there. We'll see you in 10 minutes. We just hit 20 minutes. I wanna look at this, and I did stir it up a little bit before. We're not quite there. So maybe think of this as like hockey and, and they have periods. So we're gonna go another 10 minutes on this, giving it a total of 30. And then I think we can remove the bacon at that point. Let's cover it back up. We're into this cook 30 minutes. Bacon is looking good enough for government work. We're gonna take it off. With our bacon done, we just wanna take it off and put it on to a plate that's got a paper towel on it. And just kinda of let them cool down, degrease a little bit. I think it's time to start making the sandwich. We start with two slices of Texas toast. You can use whatever toast you want, and that's fine, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of mayo on these instead of butter. Whip it around. Get a nice, you know, kind of a light layer on there, nothing crazy. We start with some whipped cream cheese, and I'm just using the one with chives. I'm going to lay it on a little bit thick here. I'm going to take some extra sharp cheddar cheese. You can use whatever cheddar cheese you can add. You can use whatever cheese you want. I'm just going with extra sharp cheddar cheese. Put these off to the side. We're going to take one jalapeno. We're just going to cut it up. Now, of course, this is gonna be a little on the spicy side. So if you didn't want it spicy, well, you just kind of remove the insides, but I'm okay with it. I'll lay it on like that. The way it sticks in there. 
Actually, truth be told, I do kind of like spicy. Remember our bacon from earlier? We're just gonna cut it up a little bit. Crispier the better. Although I'm not a big crispy bacon fan. So I'm good with this. We're gonna lay it over the cheese. Hopefully some of it stays on. And now it's time to put it on the Weber. We put the first piece there and the first piece there, and we're just gonna let them kind of cook down. At this point, we've been running for five minutes. I just wanna look at this, and our cheese is just starting to melt. Let's give it another five minutes, and then we'll see where we're at. At this point, we're another five minutes into this. When it just, the cheese is melting. I just wanna put it over the direct heat for just a moment. So what we're trying to do is just brown up that bottom. That is just perfect. 30 seconds. Let's remove them. Our cheese is really not quite as melted as we wanted to, but that's okay with our bacon, our jalapeno. Let's put it together. Look at that. Looks good. Do I cut it this way? or this way. I think for today, we're gonna cut it this way. Look at that. Can hardly wait to try it. Let's give it a shot. Wow. This sandwich really comes together. You get the crust on, you get the crunch on the outside. You get just a bite of that jalapeno with cheese and bacon. And the cream cheese really shines through on this. Wow. And it's not hot at all. I think what happens is that cream cheese just kind of mellows out the jalapeno for the most part. I mean, there's a little bit of a bite, but nothing crazy. But the real test is with a white Russian. Yeah, I'm going to give that a thumbs up for sure. All right, guys, you got to try this. It's, it was it took a little bit of time, but it's there's tons of flavor here. And it was actually a fun cook. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. The recipe's down below. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, ring that bell. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, of course, YouTube. We'll talk to you later. Everybody take care. Going back to eating.